So it went out and about in Monaco, a good call from Jerry Murphy, one of the other journalists, to come see Prince Rainier's collection of cars, but it also includes almost all the Formula One cars that have been through all the years, plus all the rally cars. So let's have a little tour around and see this place you really like. That's a super Annie 1911. Uh, driver in the front here, all is good. Passenger in the back, all is good. Petrol tank, two to three. Sweet. Pirelli P0s on that one over there, and this one here is Potenza's, Bridgestone Potenza's. Le Mans. Yeah. So I'm beside one of my all-time favorite cars, this Lancia, it's a number 37 Group B version. Uh, two liter petrol engine. This car only weighed 780 kg in a rally at full chat. Can you imagine that? 780 kg. Mm -hmm. At Alpine. This is a broke down version of an uh, engine and gearbox. Uh, so motor, this is the motor here. Then you have um, gears. Uh, this would be the linkage between the whole lot of them going down to transmission and then um, the power invert converter at the bottom here, which is this end of it here. This is a broke down engine system. I'm dying to wind the hand in the rain, but I don't <laughs> Business up the front. Tracks at the back. Yeah, baby. In the Ferrari. This car behind me was actually on my wall at home as a young guy. Not this model of this is the 86 version of it. It's Lamborghini Countach here. Uh, I didn't like these overrider things around the front of these things here, but everything else was pretty good. From 1967. It's got a 60s look to it as well. It looks like it was like definitely made in the 60s, without a thousand. Yeah. But even that wing arrangement on the front is like really busy. Uh, just trying to put things in perspective, this car, the roof of this car is about up to the height of my thigh. It's tiny, like they're so low to the ground. Um, it would cut the ankles off if it hit you in the front. <laughs> and to flip that around a little bit, the height of this car, so this one here is 1927 Rolls-Royce, it's a two-door, uh, it's a six-cylinder engine as well, but it's actually taller than me, I can't get much closer than this, but it's actually uphill for me, the roof line, it's really properly tall. Amazing car, God, they're amazing. 1927 Rolls-Royce Phantom 1, six-cylinder straight six engine of course, mounted longitudinally, I think you call that, going that way with a drive shaft on the floor going to the rear wheels. Same for the next one here. <laughs> hey Lexus, uh, people are looking for this model. You should bring it in. <laughs> so all these cars here, all these Rolls Royce are what's called coach built, right? Now, to put that in perspective, what that means is the people who build coaches, the people who build horse and carriages like these ones behind me built those kind of cars too so that's why they're so tall so high so big and roomy they didn't know how to make them in any other way so coach builders turn their hands to these kind of things as well which are proper horse and cart till eventually coach building died out uh, it's making a little resurgence but not quite the same form yeah timber floor in it as well yeah 1807 Well, it's possibly a flying machine of some sort.
flying swan. The flying bird must be something to do with Pennsylvania. I love the wheels. I love the wheels. They are deadly. Just big, yeah. Delahaye. Delahaye. I don't remember that name now before. Beautiful, isn't it? Here's a Jag. A Jag. <gasps> I've just fallen in love. Oh, yeah, that's that's one of the. A Ford Brake. Oh, my God. Why does it not continue making that? I've just fallen in love. I have. Look, 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 look. A Ford Brake. See the wood on the side of it? That's amazing. I love it. It's amazing. Yeah. That looks like it's been raced yeah. a lot. <laughs> it's known as the tank, Type 57. It does look like a tank in very suit. I might be getting a wreck. Keep going, keep going around, keep going around, keep going around, keep going around. <gasps> what color is that thing? This is out for the. Hitchcock movie car, that thing from the birds and all. It's that kind of car, isn't it? 1954. And then right beside it. Mm. So this is a Fiat 600. It's here beside me. But this was a specially built one uh, with the wicker seats. This stuff is all removable. So the idea was you drove down as far as you know, Saint Tropez or somewhere for the day. You took the seats out. The kids have a seat in the back, and you had the couch and the two chairs and. Well, no one could steal your car, there's no seats in it. Then. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Little little white wall tires there. Absolutely incredible looking car. And then Mr. Ugly Duckling, the right next door to us. <laughs> Renault, 1957. That is hideous, isn't it? Guy or E type. It's a later model, it's got the funny, funny lights. Beautiful. A Nash Healy. That is ugly. That is. It is bordering on hideous. Pinafarina designed as well. Yeah. Jesus, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you thinking of? And then a facial Vega. Vega, I've heard of. <sighs> Looks like something out of, a, out of a kid's spy movie. So this is a big caddy, a Fleetwood Cadillac. Um, turned 1960 something, let's check the sign, 1961. But what I want to show you is the length of the thing. Look at that. It just goes on and on and on and on. Into the way distance up there. That's a classic of design. That actually set the design for everything that ever came out of Mercedes thereafter, the minute that arrived. So it must have weighed a ton to do that. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment and let me know if you want more. And until the next time, I will see you on the far side. Not much to it, it's, it's, it's just a bed and a bathroom. But it's the view out the front and the balcony that makes all the sense. Look at that. How's that for a view, huh? See over there. This is a heliport where the helicopters take off. Uh, Princess Grace of Monaco, which is Grace Kelly. Uh, it's her rose garden. And then just rode up that way. More hotels and things. And the mountain and all that.